In a recent interview with FMT, Amno Supreme Council member Azalina Othman Said was asked about comments made last month by one of a party's vice presidents and what could happen when the next general election rolls around. Khalid Nordin said last month that without PAS, BN can now move back in the direction of moderation. Is this something that you're in favor of and what does moderate look like to you? PAS itself has, has a certain branding that there is a perception that when you speak about PAS, uh, the flag that they carry is of course the flag of religion because that is the party constitution. Uh, but our party constitution is, is more, more different. So we may be the same on race and religion, but we also different when we speak about the element of tolerance. Further, she said that her party's commitment to reforms and seeing change would be essential as elections loom, especially as Undi 18 and the internet will have an impact on the ideologies of the Malaysian voter base. I believe that any political party that is going to enter PRE 15, including PAS or any party, must be ready for reform agenda. And for me, uh, the, the laws in reference to women and children is a reform agenda. Uh, the laws in reference to respecting uh, immigration and, uh, we, uh, and, and uh, in reference to uh, prison overcrowding is a reform agenda. The laws on anti-hopping and recall remedy is a reform agenda. Uh, the laws in allowing new faces to come in is reform agenda. You, you, can't, you can't offer yourself or run the country just based on what you think you're right all the time. So I think basically what, what my party is trying to say is that we, we, we would want uh, to go into PRU 15 with a progressive party, with a political party that is willing to see change. But if the party is still backward, for whatever reason, could be on race, could be on religion, could be on values, well, you know, you can offer yourself, but the voters may not be interested in what you offer.